What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got another movie reaction for you. The Departed, another Martin Scorsese flick. Mm -hmm. Very excited for this one. If you guys didn't know, we do movie nights every single week over on this channel right here. Yes, don't go anywhere. Don't leave. Look for those notifications when we go live, usually Saturday night, sometimes Friday. Yep. But we have an absolute blast live streaming and having these amazing watch parties with the community. We laugh, we cry. We have we a blast. Cry. <laughs> It's a really good time, so come join us for those, and we do all of our movie reactions live with the community. So, yeah, we also post them over on the Patreon if you're into the Patreon thing. Those links are down below, but here we go. Cinema with Martin Scorsese, The Departed. Mm -hmm. yep. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Boston, some years ago. Oh. I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. I love his voice so much. Is that Stanley? It's Jack. Oh. I wish we still had places like this. Right. We'll go there all the time. Don't make me have to come down here again for this. Won't happen again, Mr. C. Carmen's developing into a fine young lady. Ew. You get your period yet, Carmen? Ew! Dirty fucking guy. You Johnny Sullivan's kid? Get him a couple loaves of bread, a couple half gallons of milk. You like bologna and cheese? Give him some cold cuts, bro, some mayo in. He's giving off major mob boss vibes right now. Yeah, so he took the money. From them, you and ever then want to earn a little extra money? Give it right back. You come by L Street. Good. Man makes his own way. No one gives it to you. Have to take it. Guineas from the north end down Providence try to tell me what to do. Something maybe happened to him. Oh God. Oh sh. Okay. She fell funny. <laughs> what? We could become cops or criminal. When you're facing a loaded gun, what's the difference? Dude, he's so good. Yeah. My boy. Back to back Matt Damon movies. Oh my God. Matt Damon. So he grew up to be a police officer? The hollow point actually hits the skull. What happens is it mushrooms. And when it mushrooms, it peels back. Little particles of the bullet that are like razor blades. Sir, yes, sir, Tearing their yes, sir, internal yes, organs, their liver, their lungs, their heart. Rugby, so intense. Oh my god, I didn't... Fuck you. <laughs> oh. What? I am getting pussy for the first time in the history of fire or pussy. Hey, go save a kitten in a tree. Oh my god. What the hell, man? Pencils. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, oh, he's a baby. Never finish anything. Oh, hey. Finish course. Get taken care of again, baby. So after graduation, I get a blowjob again. Your mother must be a wonderful woman. <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> I think it was like 2006 and we're in Boston, so. The mouth. They got the accents and the attitude. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, interesting. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I felt like there was a sniper on him. Congratulations on passing the detective's exam and welcome to the Special Investigation Unit. Special uh -oh. Investigators. Uh oh We won't be working together. That is, director, you'll be working for Captain Ellaby, but I like to see everybody. Dude. You're a yeah, worker. Mark Wahlberg needs fast. to like have a it's facial expression. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, what a cast. Do you know what we do here? My section? Sir, yes, sir. I have an idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's say you have no idea and leave it at that, okay? Oh. You got an idea about what we do. We would not be good at what we do, would we? <laughs> we would be cuts. Oh my god! <laughs> You got family connections down in Southie, right? Three hey, you like them apples? No. Why don't you tell us about your Uncle Jackie. He was a carpet layer for Jordan Marsh. Uncle Jackie was a small time bookie who attended bar at the vets in Somerville. He got popped by Nicastro in 95. We found his body out by the airport. They're trying to rattle his cage. 
I remember his funeral. Oh, good. Close casket. Oh my god! He's such an asshole. That mag and uncle of yours, Tommy Costigan's another goof. He gets busted selling guns to federal officers. Oh, is he? He's still in there. What's this got to do with me, huh? Why are you pretending to be a cop? This is an intense interrogation. Job interview. Our job is to smash or marginally disrupt organized crime in the city by enhanced cooperation with the FBI. Dude, is everybody in this movie? Honestly. Like, holy shit. By organized crime in the city, you know who we mean. It's Jackie Costigan. That's an old picture. Jackie met his demise. I feel like his Boston accent isn't very good. French, the number one. But of course, the rock star, you know who. We've done a briefing book, so read up. I want any and all ideas so I can pass them off as my own. <laughs> Makes he's honest. <laughs> Family's all criminals except for the old man, huh? And one priest, since you seem to know everything. Well, last I heard, he was happily married to a 12-year-old boy living on a beach in Thailand. You were kind of a double kid, I bet, right? One kid with your old man, one kid with your mother. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you a psychiatrist? Well, if I was, I'd ask you why you were a steady making 30 grand a year, and I think if I was Sigmund fucking Freud, I wouldn't get an answer. <laughs> Families are always rising or falling in America, am I right? Who said that? Hawthorne. What's the matter, smart ass? You don't know any fucking Shakespeare? We have a question. Do you want to be a cop? Or <laughs> you want to appear that. to be a cop? Uh oh. Yeah. What do you want from hey, me? Hey, asshole, he can't help you. I know what you are, okay? I know what you are and I know what you're not. I'm the best friend you have on the face of this earth, and I'm gonna help you understand something, you punk. You're no cop. We deal. In deception here what we do not deal with is self-deception five years from now you could be anything else in the world but you will not be a massachusetts state trooper jesus Are you sure of that i'm sure of that <laughs> this is so intense <laughs> so what do i do there's money behind this operation tax-free You'll be convicted of a crime. You'll do enough jail time to convince anyone this is no setup. You want to serve the Commonwealth? This is your chance. We need you, pal. So they want him to be a plant. Be a costigan from South Boston. Every weekend, Sergeant. Do it again for me. <laughs> okay. Undercover. Okay. okay. Wow. I don't think that's the assignment he was looking for. <laughs> that was the intro. It's wild. <laughs> wow. Sullivan grows up in a crime family and I didn't catch his name. Grows up in a family of crime. I got like 30,000 bucks, right? Insurance money. In your line of work, if I gave you, say, 10,000, what could I get back? You know what you usually say at these moments? <laughs> I'm not a cop, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you corrupt bastard. He's no cop. He got out of the joint three weeks ago. Well, I knew his father. I liked his Uncle Jackie better. Jackie was all right. Uncle Jackie was excellent. Cranberry juice. My girlfriend drinks it when she's got her period. This fucking guy. What, do you get your period? The fuck? <laughs> the way they talk to oh! each other. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you know me? No. Well, I'm the guy that tells you there are guys you can hit. Now, that's not quite a guy you can't hit, but it's almost a guy you can't hit. <laughs> you make one more drug deal with that cop magnet of a cousin of yours, and uh -oh. I'll forget your grandmother was so nice to me. I'll cut your fucking nuts off. <laughs> okay. What are you drinking? A cranberry juice. What is it, your period? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, this is wild. It's Jackie's nephew. Oh. What? Oh, uh, I thought you weren't. Okay, well. No one else can hit him, he can. Okay. My people are out there. You're not gonna see him, you're not gonna hear about him. Except through me or Captain Queen. You will not ever know the identity of undercover people. Unfortunately, this shithole has more fucking leaks than the Iraqi Navy. Fuck yourself. <laughs> oh my god! Jeez. Somebody 
As you may already know, stole 20 microprocessors from the mass processor company out on Route 128. These are the kind of processors they put into computers that could put a cruise missile up the yes, ass of a sounds camel very familiar. from a couple hundred miles away. These little pieces of plastic are worth about 100 grand a piece. We're not here to solve the case of the missing scumbag. We're here to nail Costello. You do not want to miss it if Costello takes a dump. We'd miss a lot less if you made your informants available to us. Do you have anyone in with Costello presently? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe fuck yourself. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Normally he's a very uh, nice guy. <laughs> Haven't noticed yet. I love the way this movie's filmed, by the way. I do too. Those camera moves, super cool. Calm down. I'm in a house call. Have I seen you professionally? We don't need to do a conjuring, all right? Chill. Oh, shit, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> love her. Are you a stadium? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm actually going to law school. Dude, there are other people on this elevator. Close your fucking shit. <laughs> Maybe you can shoot someone, and then you'd have to see me professionally. I'll Dude. stab someone in the hat with a fucking ice pick <laughs> if it gets me dinner with you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Please don't let me go back empty-handed. Please don't do this. I oh. want to help you. See this guy? You see this guy? This guy oh don't God. want you to have the money because he wants to come back there and squash your head. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, you fellas come from Providence? It's your business where we come from, is it now? Fucking oh river and cannolis or something? Oh. Oh, throat punch. Oh. Goddamn. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Oh my god, you're gonna die for this, right? Oh. Oh shit. Oh! oh! Ah! <laughs> he just helped you though, bud. <laughs> Holy shit. Do you know who I am? You met my friend, Mr. French, the other night. Come with me. Uh-oh. Those guys you tuned up, what they're gonna do is come back with some guys and kill you. Unless I stop them. Do you want me to stop them? <laughs> this is something I can't do personally. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, yeah. Show me your arm. Oh, shit! Makes me curious to see you in this neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know if it's beyond some fucking cock prick like Queen and to pull you out of the stadies and send you after me. Is he gonna do something? Ah! Are you still a cop? No! Your fucking cousin. Yes. All right, all right. All right. Oh my oh, God, God, dude. Get your hand taken care of. I did. Jeez. You know John Lennon? Yeah, sure. He's a president before Lincoln. Lennon said, no, can you not I'm an artist. Right now? You give me a fucking tuber, I'll get you something out of it. He's a very loud eater. Honestly, that's... The point I'm making with John Lennon is a man could look at anything and make something out of it. She just has a fucking hand! What could I use you for? Get rid of this. Put it downstairs, here. Hey, thank you. Maybe we could work something out. Good. And uh, send this to his wife. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Dude, this movie is ruthless. <laughs> that was quick. I think he's dead already. We have to do it by phone. I won't do it if I have to wear a wire. No wires ever, you understand? Microprocessors. Anybody says anything about anything like that, you let us know. Wow. You definitely need to have fucking one. You're being run by someone else. 
Oh my god. He's going for my cigarette. How many teeth did he knock out? <laughs> Jimmy Banks. He was re. I don't know. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. This is America. You don't make money, you're a fucking douchebag. Now, what you gonna do? Oh. I'll take more money. Don't worry about it. The guy don't need his fucking teeth anyway. Oh my god! This is so wild. This crazy fuck knocked Jimmy Bag's teeth out. The man reached into his coat. I don't know if he's a bookie or what he's doing, you know? Well, you do know what a bookie does, don't you? It pays you. Personally, I don't trust half the troopers out there anymore. Bottom line, we think we might have a problem. We think Costello's got a rat in the state police. It's you, though, dude. Uh -oh. oh, did that just... hit him in the head? Like, actually hit him in the head? <laughs> oh my god. Who throws a duck, honestly? Oh god. Please. Ain't gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Your heart rate is jacked. Your hand, steady. That's one thing I figured out about myself in prison. My hand does not shake. God damn. Do they all, uh, they all come in here and cry, your cops? Sometimes they do. They signed up to use their weapons, all right? But they watch enough TV so they know they have to weep after they use their weapons. There is no one more full of shit than a cop, except for a cop on TV. Come on, scrub. That guy Jimmy Bags, whose jaw you broke, happens to work undercover for the Boston Police Department. You signed the papers, remember? Now we're the only two people on the face of this earth that even know you're a cop. How about we just erase your file? Huh? This guy sucks! <laughs> oh my god. What do you say we do that, Captain? How about a I kill you? That was a joke. Come on. It wasn't a joke. It lace curtain Irish pussy. <laughs> Oh shit. I mean, honestly, he deserved all that. This is, this story is wild. Hey, Costello, huh? I mean, what's wrong with taking him on any one of the million fucking felonies that you've seen him do? What are you waiting for, honestly? I mean, do you want him to chop me up and feed me to the poor? Oh, that might stick. <laughs> oh my God. We are building a case and it takes time. You know that. I'm telling you, something's wrong. I think Costello's got a spy inside the special investigation unit. What do you expect coming in here? I have to come here. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Oh my God. Value. If you lied, you would have an easier time getting what you wanted. <laughs> you're gonna close my file? I didn't Is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> okay. I comes in here against every, every instinct of <laughs> privacy, of self-reliance that he has. You sent him off on the street to score smack? Dude, Leo is so good. Honestly, he's great. <laughs> he's so good. Two pills? Why don't you just give me a bottle of scotch and a handgun to blow my head off? Are we done here with this psychiatry you bullshit? Know what? You what, can what the leave. fuck did I just put myself? Oh my god. Everyone is such an asshole. Honestly. <laughs> it's so entertaining. What's this? It's my card and a prescription for 20 lorazepam. My CAD. Have I done my job up to your goddamn standards? I'm transferring you to another counselor. So you want to get a cup of coffee? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, well, since you aren't going to be my doctor anymore, let's go yeah. get some coffee. Yeah. Lots of cash are going to change hands inside a building that we have under AV surveillance close by. Not take action until a man that Captain Queen has inside their operation verifies the transaction. Tonight, we are going to get him. This lead came from Queen is undercover guy. Anybody have a smoke right now? You want to smoke? You don't smoke, do you? Right? What do you want? All those fitness freaks? Huh? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> what do you want? All those fitness freaks? Go fuck yourself. Okay, damn. Shit. Hi, Dad. Yes. Something big came up at work. I'm not going to be home for supper. We'll just have to sit down without you and your friends. Oh, no. My friends are still coming. I'll just see you for lunch instead tomorrow. Your mother will be proud. You know the players. Call the game. 
you saw him have like a little panic moment. Yeah, where he was like, like "Wait, we're doing this. I didn't get a chance to tell anyone." Turn off your cell phones. Fitz has got the chicken. Check your weapons. Oh my god. This is really intense. We have a blind spot. Why do we have a blind spot? We had two hours notice. Two hours. Fuck, you think this is NASA? Well, it never crossed my mind. <laughs> I'm concerned about a Chinaman who thinks it's wise to come to a business transaction with automatic weapons. Oh, God. Tell Bruce Lee and the Karate Kids, none of us are carrying automatic weapons. In this country, it don't add inches to your dick. Oh, my God. How do you translate that? Why the fuck did they turn their phones off? Wait, there's still one phone up. The buyers are there. Who put the fucking cameras in this place? Oh, who the fuck are you? I'm the guy who does his job. <laughs> I'm so guy. nervous right now. <laughs> I don't... I don't want uh, <sighs> Billy to get found out, but I do want Sullivan to get found out. What? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Look at how bad he's sweating. They didn't figure we had a Navy. Did you put a camera in the back? Can I talk to you for a second, please? Oh, my God. <laughs> Stupid fucking <laughs> Oh. There is a rat in your unit that is a fact, all right? Where's Queenan? He's not here. They knew everything, all right? There was a leak from the inside. Flush it down the pipe and see if it comes out on my end, all right? That's what we do first. You want to meet up or you got something real? Call me back. This is fantastic, this movie. Honestly, it's great. Changing your life radically. Change anything, right? Change everything. And they're both interested in her. Yeah. <laughs> Morning. Good morning. Want a French donut? Yeah. Croissant. All right, we're not having this out. What? Look, I respect who you are. Just, you know, not in the living room. The fuck? Mayor Sullivan's office. We're calling on the phone right now. I think it's a guy with, uh... It's like a, can a cancer guy. Hello? What the fuck is it with you and your phone? Huh? <laughs> Holy shit. Is that that shrink that answered the phone? Remember? I wow! She moved in. You better get organized, quick. Hey, last time I checked, I tipped you off and you're not in jail. Do you like Little Miss Thing sucking on your cock? <laughs> 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 we got a cop. Crew. I got no access to Queenan's undercover files. You get me information on the people who were with you last night. Give you? Who the fuck do you work for? <laughs> this is insane. Right, we're, we're gonna handle it. I, I, I can handle it. Calm down or you're shooting your pants. <laughs> Dude, the dynamic of trying to figure out who's working and who's crew, undercover, dirty, is... I love it. What did you do with the real microprocessors, Frank? You arrested some Chinese government guys at the border carrying some light sockets. I can't wait to wipe that fucking smirk right off of your face. Would you rather wipe my ass for me? There are certain parts of my job that <laughs> I'm not going to be able to talk to you about. And I cannot allow you to jeopardize an <laughs> ongoing investigation or your life. <laughs> He would literally scare the fucking shit out of me. The way the red flags are going off right now. Oh, that's the movers. You still want to stay? Yes. No. No. I mean, it would be difficult to be with someone who is in a field where they can't talk about what they do. Like, that part is... Because there are certain aspects of certain careers that you can't share. Well, you share stuff. I just don't understand it. I'm like, ah, whatever. <laughs> I'm not dealing with ongoing investigations. Thank God. Oh 
Oh, goddamn. <laughs> You do what? I gotta pay Costello and wait for him to trade me to the FBI? Cause that's what he does. What the fuck you talking about, FBI? Oh, yeah. oh my god, is that oh French? <laughs> oh fuck! Now, what the fuck did you just fucking say? The kneecap. Costello's a protected FBI informant. He'll trade you out. I thought I was supposed to go into the shock. I'm not in shock. It fucking hurts. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I was gonna go into shock. It hurts. Honestly. Uh... <laughs> is this supposed to be so funny? Because this is hilarious. Costello's giving people up to the FBI. The FBI? He's a protected fucking informant. How is he not being watched like constantly though? Your social and license number, your bank account numbers. What's he doing, setting up IRAs? Just fill the fucking paper in. You shitting me. No, I ain't. Uh-oh. That ain't fucking right. <laughs> you kidding me? Well, you said to stay here. Yeah, I'm not sitting here without getting a tetanus shot. Where the fuck are you going? I'm not staying, all right? You can tell him I said that. I thought she moved. I think she's moving. Oh. She still has all her stuff in a box. I have to say your vulnerability is really freaking me out right now. Uh, yeah, a lot of this stuff is freaking me out. <laughs> I'm gonna calm my shoulder down again. Jesus Christ. Oh, cheater, cheater! I mean, what's his name, Sullivan? Yeah. He's a dick. <laughs> It really is. And it's Leo. Like, hello? What is that? When they used to put these movies in the theater. <laughs> Isn't that how Pee Wee Herman got? Anything you like, huh? I almost fucking shot you. Oh my god. <laughs> so if it's such a fucking bad idea, why'd you show up? I own the place. <laughs> I gotta find the guy you got in the department. If you don't find that cheese-eating rat bastard in your department, most likely it won't be me who suffers for it. <laughs> this is so intense. Yes, I can't breathe. <laughs> What? There's so many details and just shots and angles that just, it's awesome. Scorsese. Oh! You just killed a random dude! Stupid! You can't look right at the camera and then be like, oh. Yeah, yeah. So he didn't know who was following him. Doesn't feel like it. Smell a rat. I look around at your other guys. I mean, they're all murderers, right? And I think, could I do murder? And all I can answer myself is, what's the difference? Give them up to the almighty. You see, that's my point. You accused me once. I'm freaking stressed out. Pressure me to fear for my life, and I will put a fucking bolt in your head as if you were anybody else. Okay? You 
got something sure. you wanna ask me? <laughs> Holy shit. You're 70 years old, Frank, I'm just saying, okay? One of you guys is gonna pop yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As for running drugs, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? I haven't needed the money since I took Archie's milk money in the third grade. What is happening? This rat, this smelling, heating fucking rat. Why don't you stay in the bar? That night I got your numbers. Is this, is this something that you just want to go ahead and ask me? Because I'll give you the fucking answer, all right? I'm not the fucking rat. This is terrifying. I literally, I can't remember the last time I spoke. This entire reaction is just going to be like. Who thinks that they can do what you do better than you? How do you convince somebody you're not the rat, even though you are? Especially when it seems like he's on to you. I'm like, <laughs> you want to be me? I probably could be you, but I don't want to be you. Heavy lies the crown. You learn a lot watching things eat. <laughs> oh, eh. did he just eat the bug? Two days ago, my guy damn near found out who Costello's rat is. Lost him in the streets. Really? Did he get a look at the guy? I mean, nothing. I mean, anything that could help us. No. <laughs> oh, man. Of course I know how to spot a cop. How's that? But he's not paying attention to us. He's a cop. You see that guy what? over there? He's not paying attention to us. He's a cop. Oh, my God. The logic. Hey, how you doing? What kind of dog is that? <laughs> she ignored us, so she must be a cop. Probably the fucking police commissioner. Oh my god. Get out of here. Using a new crew tonight, new guys. Take the night off. What the fuck did he just do? <laughs> He's moving something with all new guys, a whole new crew. Listen, I need to see you today. You heard nothing about drugs, oh. nothing about new guys. It ain't Bill. No way, he says. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want constant surveillance on Captain Queenan, starting right now. Oh shit. Oh shit! So he's gonna meet up. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is wild. He just went into a building down the waterfront. 344 wash. He had blood all over his hands. He's losing his fucking mind. Shit. Sooner or later, he's gonna find out who I am and he's gonna fucking kill me. I know, right, he's gonna right. fucking kill all me. Right, all right. Wow. The way this is all unfolding is... <laughs> I think Queen is meeting with him right now. I know. All right, all right, listen to me. I'll get you out of this. I cannot do it overnight, but I will get you out. Get the van, we're moving. Heavy work. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Billy, where the fuck are you? We've been trying to reach you. We found the rat. The address is 314 Washington Street. You got it? What? You were followed. By whom? By Costello's people. Holy shit. Take the fire escape. What about you? I'll be fine, but if you get made, I can't protect you. Now go, go. Oh. They are closing in on him. I'm freaking out. Where's your boy? He's studying law. Where's, where's your, your name? fucking boy? Now where's your fucking, 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 fucking boy? The fucking oh my god. <gasps> no! Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. What do you mean something came off the building? Go again with that. Something came off the fucking roof. Something I don't know what fucking it was. fucking body. Oh. Where the fuck were you? What the fuck happened? You're fucking late. Get in the van. What do you mean something came off the roof? What the fuck's going on? I Where came to meet you. Be? Do not pursue. Stay in the car. Fuck this. Oh. oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Oh, they ran him over after that. You are now responsible for Queen and stuff. You suck. This escalated quickly. This movie is so wild. Like, I, uh. Why the fuck were your guys following? I told internal investigations to follow Captain Queen. Why? That's internal investigations business. <clears throat> oh shit. I can fucking investigate anybody I fucking want to. Go, come on. I don't give a fuck what you think. So why the fuck were you? I was at the grocery store with no signal, all right? When I got the signal, I got the call. Was I there or was I not there, huh? Billy. Huh? Billy. He's just, they're just gonna let him fucking die on the couch over there. Have you never been late in your life? When I called you, I made a mistake. I gave you the wrong address. Oh shit, that's right. You showed up at the right one, didn't you? Tell me why I didn't tell nobody. Huh? Tell me why. <clears throat> Jesus. That looked like a real death right there. You've seen many in person? No, but <laughs> goddamn. It wasn't just like, a, oh, I'm dead. That is wild. He like nailed him, but didn't tell anyone else. Dude, it's all bloody, bro. I'm gonna. I love like there's been so many moments where like music was playing and then it just stops, like a hard cut. Oh shit. <laughs> Call this number on a dead guy's phone. So it is you. Thank God you're all right. We were very worried. I'm taking over Queenie's unit. I think the best thing would be for you to come in. Or meet me. Just the fact that it's like still covered in blood and he's just like using it. Right. Timothy Delahunt, an undercover policeman for the city of Boston. I still don't believe he was a cop. I don't believe it. The cops are saying he's a cop. Oh. When I tell you to dump a body in the marsh, you dump him in the marsh. Not where some guy from John Hancock goes every Thursday to get a fucking blowjob. <laughs> don't laugh. Oh my God, <laughs> don't laugh right now. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh my God. <laughs> Ugh, what a song. <laughs> oh, this is nuts. I feel like this movie is three hours long. It is. It is? Not, it's oh like gosh. two and a half, 240, something like that. I don't know. Compared to Interstellar, I feel like everything is so long, but this feels long, but fast. The pacing is super, That's what like, she said. the scenes are chopped very quick. The editing is. Get rid of the fucking tail! <laughs> It's a nation of fucking rats. Oh my God. <sighs> get rid of the tail, get special ops on standby. We'll take this prick tonight. All right, let's go now. Did he decide to flip on him? All right, it's the warehouse he owns over on Sheffield. He's got to have a container or a truck or something there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Frank, how do you know you don't have a tail, huh? Were you not in the fucking car? And yeah, what if they took one off and they put another one on? Load. Oh, my God. Uh... Oh, my God. Not even phase. 
just oh my he's just God. like going. Oh. Dude, the editing in this scene is awesome. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh! Ah! Oh shit. How the fuck did this happen? You're an FBI informant? Grow up. Of course I talked to you. Behind. Do they know who I am? I never gave up anybody. Nobody knows nothing. You're like a... What, like a son to you? Is that what this is about? All that murdering and fucking and no sons. <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. He's been waiting here a long time for you. How'd you get him without the files? We were classmates in the academy together. Now, how long were you undercover? A long time. I just want you to know I'll be recommending you for the Medal of Merit. It's kind of like a gold star around here, huh? Oh, my God. I just want my identity back, all right? Check your computer. Go on. You'll have to excuse my behavior. My only contact in the last six months has been a police shrink. Uh-oh. What are you going to do about Costello's rat in this building? I'm going to find him. I'm going to arrest him. Oh my god! Ah! Frank ever mentioned a name, you know, anything, someone he was in contact with, anything you can give me. I'm all done being a cop, all right? I just want my money and I want to go home. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't get into your file unless I have your password. It's my name. They gave it to me in case I had to explain myself to someone like you. Listen, Bill, I gotta run this in the other room. This computer's getting all friggin' bluey on me. Give me two minutes, I'll have you out of here in no time. Yeah, 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 you're gonna see... The face! The face! What do you see? Yeah, I found the envelope. Shit! Shit! Oh my god, please. What are you gonna do? 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 Maybe he's not being a, done being a cop now? Oh, shit. One last thing before you go. Wow. This movie is so good. All right, everything checks out, so let's get you paid. This is so tense. Yeah, 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 he sees it. Yeah, you should have hit the envelope a little bit better, bud. He just deleted his entire file. Yeah, so now he doesn't exist as an officer. This is for you to hold. Only you. You open this if something happens to me, or if I call you and I tell you to open it. You're the only person I can trust, all right? I have, um, I... Whatever you have to say, think about it real hard, all right? If you still want to tell me, you tell me in two weeks, okay? What's happening in two weeks? Why would you write the name on it, girl? I was dreaming I was dead. Mm. Might be soon, based off of the way things are going. What's this? Open it. Really? What is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they, they say that this little speck... Oh, no! Is it Billy's? <laughs> I 
Does she feel like this is blackmail? Like, I cheated. Don't find this cheesy eating rat bastard in your department. You can assume it won't be me. I can get the rat. You just gotta let me do it my way. Hey, it fucking involves lying, and I'm pretty fucking good at that, right? We got a cop in my crew. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of getting that feeling, too. He's one of yours, inside. You know what? I thought I was the liar. Oh, shit. Costello recorded everything. His lawyer came to me. Imagine that, you rat fuck. Costello trusted me more than anyone. Sound quality good enough? Because I was a little worried. What do you want? I told you I want my identity back. Three o'clock, where Queen and died, you keep your cell on. Oh shit. This um this movie is something else. Freeze. Hey, 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 fucking hey, answer. hey, put the fucking gun down. Put the gun, put the gun down. That was so awkward right now. <laughs> huh? I can get you your money. Ugh. You didn't come here to talk, all right? You came here to get arrested. Well, what is this, a citizen's arrest? Only one of us is a cop here, Bill. You understand that, Bill? I erased you! You erased me, huh? Oh, yeah, go ahead, shoot a cop. Watch what happens! What, so you can get the parade, huh? Fuck you, I'm fucking arresting you! That's the stupidest thing you could do! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Holy shit. Dude, this is nuts. Drop your weapon. I called you. You specifically. Look, you know who I am. I'm not going to shoot. I told you to meet me help, downstairs. Help, help. I told you to bring Diggs. Shoot this motherfucker. Would you fucking shoot? Drop your weapon to the floor. I have evidence cold linking this prick to Costello, all right? Would you shoot this fucking prick? You know who I am. This is so insane. There's just... <laughs> There's only one person who knows exactly who he is in the force. Oh my God. It's, I mean, he knows. He, he only knows him because he went through the academy together. They don't know what his status is. Right. It's only Mark Wahlberg's character. What's his name? Digum? Bigum? <laughs> Digum. Just fucking kill me. Just fucking kill me. That was a turn. Don't try to get sympathy now. Oh! What the fuck? I did no! not see that coming. Oh my God. Oh no! I think you were the only one he had on the inside. Costello was gonna sell us to the FBI. We gotta take care of each other, you understand? Oh my God! Holy shit, this took a turn. I was not expecting that. What the fuck? I was expecting Billy to win. Holy ah! fuck! Oh my God! Holy shit! <laughs> what is happening? What the fuck? <laughs> the, what the fuck? Oh my god! I'm recommending William Costigan for the Medal of Merit. That's Junior, bitch. Yo! This movie is nuts! <laughs> Is he realizing something right now? What about the baby? It was his baby. It's got it's it had to have been Billy's, right? The fuck? 
<gasps> okay. What that was happening? Oh, it, it, it is, is happening! happening. <gasps> oh shit! Marky Mark for the win! <laughs> Dude, everyone fucking dies in this movie. God damn. <laughs> Except for the rat. The rat lives! Holy shit! Wow. Is that the end? Holy crap. Wow, Martin Scorsese. <laughs> that, that movie was freaking epic. There were so many points in that movie, though, where we were dead silent. I was like, I have nothing to say right now. Good God. I mean, the pacing of this movie was high tempo. Like, it was fast. It was like the edits, the music, the way it was edited. Like, everything about this movie was friggin' pedal to the metal from the moment this shit started. Word. And just the, the story... Of the rat with the rat in the group, but I not know, in the group. Also but with rat. Like rats everywhere. Keeping all of that in, like intact and understanding what each's responsibility and role were, it was like, oh my god, how are they going to keep this going? And it was just <laughs> so insane, so insane. And then to, to everybody was a rat. Everybody, everybody was a fucking rat. Like, unbelievable. This cast and the performances, unbelievable. Everybody in this movie was friggin' fantastic. You know who the only rat wasn't? Anthony Anderson at the end there. Oh. He was a good person. He was trying to make it all right. He fucking got shot in the head. Dude, that ending. I thought Leo was gonna like win the oh Billy. I thought he was gonna like be standing. Like I thought he solved it. I thought he did all the stuff that he was supposed to do, get through it, and he was gonna be standing tall at the end as like the victor. Mm -hmm. Nah. Mm -hmm. Nope. But then I thought it was like, I'm like, Colin can't win. This dude can't win. Fucking Matt Damon. <laughs> like, what Fucking an asshole. Matt Damon. What an, like, he plays the asshole so good. I know, which that is was... why, like, I can't, I don't, I can't, like, look at the actor himself and be like, and, and think to myself, you're not an asshole yeah. because every, the last he's, two movies he's good at that it. we have watched Damn it, Matt been Damon. an asshole. I just, the... The way the movie oh ended yeah. and like those shots, when, when those folks got shot in the head, that was shocking. I was like, oh my, like, it's really hard to catch me off guard with twists and turns sometimes. It's not hard to catch like, me. <laughs> sometimes, I mean, I, I did not see that shit coming at all. Uh -uh. The way they were wrapping the story up, it felt like Billy was going to like yeah, get the he, W. He did it. And it's like... When another dude showed up to be guy from Band of Brothers, when he's like, oh, we had multiple, like, we were going to let, like, what? <laughs> he just comes out of nowhere and starts capping dudes in the head. Honestly. Like, holy yeah, shit. I feel really bad for the character. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anthony Anderson. Poor Absolutely guy. unbelievable. Oh, my God. That, I mean, coming off of Interstellar and watching this movie, those are two straight bangers in a row. Honestly. I just... This was so, 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 so good. I'm I, so glad we watched it. I, I, I would the, watch that again. I love the tone. I love the pacing. Jack as a boss was so good. I thought, he's he was just, so He's like good. crazy and like... Like unhinged mm -hmm. and uh, he goes off the rails yeah. like all of the words that you use that are synonymous with he played crazy. he played the the gang boss so well and it's just i i think i loved absolutely everything about this movie do you like the violence how, was insane oh my god that was so good do you like how like i didn't understand until the end who gwen was oh you like that fuck i'm yeah, an idiot it, it happens <laughs> Did you know who I, it was? I yeah, I thought from the store. I thought that was obvious. No, no I completely oh. forgot her name. Okay. And then I was like, "Who is this chick?" Oh, yeah. he the, the sexually harassed her in her place of work right. in front of her dad. Yes. Fucking asshole. Yeah, they all grew up. Shit. They grew up in yeah. Who wants to be with a? I just I, no. I don't know. Maybe she, maybe she didn't have a whole lot of choice. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because who knows? No. But I mean, that movie was everything. It was. It was so good. Oh, God. I just, I think my favorite aspect of the movie was just how ridiculous it was. Yeah. The way they all talked to each other and they were just like shit talking constantly. That's how me and my best friends talk to each other. But we just constantly talk shit and make fun and tease and joke. Yes. And it's just. I love that about you guys. So fun. And I mean, this whole movie taking place in Boston and the accents and obviously me being like a New York Jersey sports fan. You know, fuck you, Boston sports. Just going to throw it out there. But I, Come for me, I dare you. I ya. was not sure if I should be laughing at certain oh, parts. It was fucking funny. I couldn't help but laugh. That, that movie was really funny. <laughs> oh my God. The way it was written and the dialogue, all of it was just... It was, I hate... Like, I feel weird because last movie that we watched... I was like, I don't use this word often. I described Interstellar as a masterpiece. This was a fucking masterpiece too. <laughs> This movie was amazing. I loved Just, it. I would totally, like 10 out of 10, I would watch again. It was another long movie, but the pacing made it feel like we watched like a four hour movie. Because there was so much, I feel like there was so much stuff jammed into this movie. But at the same time, it went so fast. Yeah, because the pacing, the way it was no, edited, know, the cuts, like, the... You know. I love the music in this movie. I like... Obviously, Scorsese's famous for saying this is cinema. Uh, the way the camera shots and the cinematography, the way the music would be like the sound would just stop on a hard cut. It wouldn't like have like a fade out or anything where music's playing and then an important scene's about to happen. They didn't trail the music underneath. They just cut it. There were so many interesting cuts and edits in this movie that caught my eye where I'm like, that felt weird, but it was obviously intentional because it happened a lot in this movie. Like jump cuts, for example, you know what a jump cut is, right? Yeah. So like jump cuts are I a big- I watch YouTube, I know what jump cuts are. Jump cuts are a big no-no when it comes to like editing, but it's a technique that you could actually use if it's intentional, like be really cool looking. There were a lot of techniques and editing cuts in this movie that kind of jumped out at me as someone who edits that I absolutely loved. It just felt so like, I don't know what the right word is to even describe what this felt like, but it was so fluid and still kind of like jarring in moments because anytime you have sound and it just stops, it jumps out and like sticks out to you. Mm -hmm. And there were just a lot of really cool edits and I love some of the camera moves. There were like a lot of low and high shots yeah, I up and that. down and like certain shots were like, if you were talking, the camera moved all the way around. Yeah. Like there was some really cool shit that I loved about this movie. And that had to have been one of my favorite Leo movies. Oh my God. I had so much fun this evening. That I mean, was really fun. This movie really had everything. Honestly. It was funny. It was violent. It was the sad story parts. was really interesting. They had a lot of mystery to it about like how this was all going to play. Like we knew who everybody was and what their roles were, but seeing how it was going to actually play out and see how the characters in the movie were going to figure out who was who and how these roles were going to like, if they were going to stick, were they going to get caught? What the hell is going to happen? It was just high level of drama. It was so intense. Yep. I mean, you mentioned it, that there were a lot of moments where we were just kind of like, what's happening? <laughs> just a lot of quiet, simple. I, some of it, I couldn't handle how quiet we were. So I did, sorry, I did talk during those yeah. parts, but like, I couldn't help it. I'm like, it's too quiet. It was fantastic. I can't handle it. The stress is too much. It like was, my shoulders were up like the whole time. <laughs> my it God. was a lot. It was high stress for sure. Because it's like the moment it felt like somebody was close to getting ID'd and caught. It didn't happen. Yeah. But like, you were like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is, this is what's going to happen? And just. But it wasn't, it, it was so weird because like, it was so funny, but so serious, but then so funny again. Right. You're like, I don't know how to take you right Some of now. the deaths were so shocking that I just, my had reaction laugh. was laughing. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. When what's his name fell from the building, it was like, what? <laughs> Like what? Oh we my felt god! Bad, but at the same time, like the yeah, fuck? absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Overall, top to bottom, from the beginning to the end, I thought this movie was everything. It, it was, was fantastic. So much fun. I so. did. I did absolutely love it. You have anything else? No, I'm right. good. That was exhausting. That was exhausting. It was absolutely fantastic. It was so good. Ten out of ten. So, yeah, for sure. So, all right, you guys share all your thoughts. Leave your comments. See you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.